Imagine it's Christmas morning in Last Day on Earth. You rush downstairs to see what the Raiders got you this year, and waiting under your Christmas tree is a brand new harpoon. Now, a harpoon is kind of like getting socks for Christmas. It's not a totally useless gift. It does have some utility, but uh, overall, it's not really that exciting to get your hands on one. The harpoon actually looks really cool, and it goes with the scuba mask in that it looks like it should be used for underwater content. However, we don't have any underwater content in Last Day on Earth right now, so I'm going to be going over why the harpoon is a little bit trashy and what you can actually use it for and what kind of utility you can actually squeeze out of this weapon. So as far as the basics go, the harpoon fires one single large harpoon at enemies dealing 60 damage and it has some crazy ragdoll physics accompanied by a nice knockback effect. This is actually one of the main drawing points of the harpoon and what adds to its novelty is that the ragdoll physics apply to a wide range of zombies. Even the bigger ones get really knocked back and have some extra ragdoll applied to their death animation. As far as damage goes and durability, you're going to get 30 shots out of this thing with that 60 damage, so a total of 1,800 damage. In terms of playstyle, this thing matches up fairly closely to the shotgun. However, there are no mods for the harpoon, and it's also not recyclable as well. Maybe in the future it'll get more utility, but right now it's just not quite where it needs to be to be very relevant inside the game. As I said earlier, I would really like to see this in some underwater content. Who knows, maybe we'll see that in the future. And the reason why I'm actually saving up most of these harpoons that I've gotten from season passes is I'm hoping that eventually they're going to be utilized. Right now, the best use case is just using them on friendly giants or any other slow zombies or really any zombie you want to see that ragdoll physics applied to. A nice little uh, Easter egg here is that it actually goes with the uh, blind one as well. So you can even get some cool ragdoll physics off of this guy too. So even bosses are affected by this effect. Overall, I don't really think the harpoon is that relevant. Like I said before, just use it on slow zombies. Other than that, it's totally a novelty weapon that's just going to save you some durability otherwise when you might use a gun. What do you guys think about the harpoon and what kind of updates would you like to see for it? I'd be interested to know. Thank you so much for watching this video and have yourself a great day.